All right, everyone, welcome back to this video. Uh, this video is about how to make a finisher. And yeah, first we just want to showcase it again. So let's get our enemy a bit lower. Right now he has not uh, as much HP anymore. And now if we use our attack, watch him. We cut his head off. Nice. So let me show you how I did it. For this example, I use Sunny Returns Zoro uh, uh, Onigiri uh, model thing. You can find it on my Discord too, the, just this example. Um, so yeah, go into your script where you deal damage, and then we just, really just have one line that's important. We check if our character's health is lower or is the same as our damage. In this example, the damage is 30. It's really that simple. And if the health is or the same or lower as our damage, we just do everything uh, that we would do if... Yeah, we just do everything that we want to do to make the finisher. But if else or the else is... If the health isn't lower or isn't the same as damage, uh, you can just do your normal uh, damage and maybe knockback part. But what I just did uh, here is anchoring the enemy's uh, human tool part, playing an animation that is in here, uh, turning back joints on death off, then uh, they're still damaging the enemy, then destroying the weld that holds together the torso and the head, which is the neck weld. Then we are just uh, putting some effects on the enemy, uh, flinging the head into the air with this body velocity. Then after, after a tussle delay of 2 seconds, we uh, push the enemy over with another body velocity and unanchor him before. So we can push him over. And after, after a task of delay of 3 seconds, we just disable uh, the effect and destroy it. That's pretty much how you do an uh, finisher. So uh, remember, this line is important. This is the important line. We will check if our character's health is lower or the same as the damage. That's pretty much how you do a finisher. Uh, yeah, have a great day. Enjoy.